in a coffee house that may not be too far away from where we are right now. An honorable sheikh who remembers all the old stories about Nasruddin Hocha visits with his friend Burhan. It is an early hour of the evening when the sounds of the city usually fall to a few quiet echoes of the busy day. Fendi, there is a crowd gathering in the square. Someone is shouting at them from the wall. Oh, it is Hamid. You know Hamid, Effendi. He comes in here sometimes. Now some of them are picking up rocks and sticks. They're running off down the square. My window! My window is broken, Hamid. You are going to pay for it. I'll pay for a cup of coffee if you get it fast, that's all. Better stay out of the streets tonight. There may be a riot down at the government house. Why do you do it, Hamid? All this violence. What better way is there to deal with the dishonesty and corruption in our government? And the do-nothing officials who keep us a backward country. There has been progress, Hamid if you would open your eyes to it. By our own labors, and with American aid, we are building roads, new schools, new housing projects. Open your eyes. I don't see anything good about the way things are going in our land. And others are coming to agree with me. And we're going to do something about what we don't like. You'll see. Ah! Just you wait and see. He has the heart of a tyrant. Pardon, Effendi? Hamid. He sees only what is wrong and bad about him. Unfortunately, people listen to him. And there is nobody around today like Nasruddin Hocha to make people realize that nothing good can come of a man who believes that violence is the way to solve every problem. Burhan, let me tell you about the Hocha and an emperor who lived a life of violence. The story is called The Heart of a Tyrant. <laughs> History tells us that the Emperor Tamerlane would order a man boiled in oil or the heads of ten slaves cut off without blinking an eye. But these same records also show that there was in Tamerlane's palace one man who, by his humor and wisdom, managed to keep the favor of the emperor. This was Nasruddin Hocha. What is this you bring me, Hocha, when I ask for an account of the palace finances? The accounts are all written here, sire, on this pancake. A pancake? Hocha, do you value your miserable life? Sire, you threatened to make me eat the accounts if they were not in order. And since I trust you to do what you say more than I trust my own addition... Eat the accounts? Pancake? <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Nasruddin Hocha in the years when he was in attendance at Tamerlane's court. But as well as the Hocha knew this tyrant, he was still sometimes shocked at the depth of the Emperor's violent nature. Tamerlane had been away from the palace for a week and then suddenly returned in the best of spirits. The Hocha asked if the Emperor had had an enjoyable trip. Very enjoyable, Hocha! Last Monday, a great fire broke out in the village I was visiting. There were some lives lost. I saw it all. 
Fancy, one man lost his mother-in-law and really seemed to be upset. On Tuesday, a mad dog bit two men. We burnt them with hot irons to prevent their going mad also. <laughs> they bellowed like buffaloes. On Wednesday, Wednesday, there was a wild storm. All the crops were washed from the fields, and all the food in the storehouses was ruined by the rain. On Thursday, one of my war elephants escaped and crushed five or six people in its path. That kept me busy until evening. On Friday, a villager in a fit of frenzy murdered his own children. That made me very angry. I had the rascal put to death by slow torture. Oh. On Saturday, a large house fell with a crash. Men, women and children lay buried under the ruins. One could hear their screams all over the village. On Sunday, Sunday, a woman hanged herself on a plum tree. We went to see that too. She left one little girl in a cradle. In short, Hocha, every day of the week we found something to amuse us. The poor Hocha, utterly unnerved at these stories, still managed to respond with a touch of his wise humor. Sire, thank God you have come back so soon. If you had stayed there another week, not one stone would have remained upon another. And even the court attendants could not help but laugh at the way the Hocha recognized Tamerlane for just what he was. A violent man with the heart of a tyrant. In that story of the Hocha, there is a lesson for us today. The man who talks only of what is bad, what is wrong and what is undone in our country, is actually revealing his own violent nature, his heart of a tyrant. And if such a man is listened to, if he gains power from unquestioning followers, he could turn our country into a place where one stone does not remain upon another.